Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. We are now on the sixth assignment, and most importantly, we are now on Carthago, a dangerous province. A dangerous province. This is the map, this is probably the only map I ever lost and had to restart the first time I played it. And because Carthago is such a tough mission, it's split to three phases and three videos. So in this video, phase one, we're going to be cleaning up the mess that we started with, establishing the Fishbone City and surviving the first invasion. So let's go ahead and get things started. Caesar is presently returning from a trip to Carthago, where he met with the province's governor. A messenger from the emperor arrived just this morning. Caesar commands me, his proconsul for Roma, to present you with the following instructions. The Carthaginians were not gracious after Hannibal's defeat ended the Punic War. As much as it pained us, we had to raise their city and bring its residents to Rome. In chains. I ordered one of my other governors to build a new city near the former site of Carthago to demonstrate that it is truly a Roman possession, now and forever. Despite the totality of our victory, some remnants of the Carthaginian army still operate in the area. Their presence encourages the natives there to resist Rome's rule, and the province is severely unsettled. The Carthaginians remain fierce fighters, and they have not been idle while we built our new city. The governor to whom I entrusted this assignment was not capable of meeting the challenge. With a heavy heart, I have removed him from power. I now call upon you to come to Carthago and set matters right. Take over this city, in which we have already invested so much money and labor. The governor was a capable builder, and you seem to have a good colony to start with. Your main challenge is to defend it from a seemingly endless series of desperate raids. The ratings that I defined for Carthago, although only moderate, eluded its former governor so persistently that he fell entirely out of my favor. Those ratings are reasonable, and they remain important to me. I have not relaxed them. Carthago is a large province, but its fertility is low. Native tribes control what little farmland exists. These local barbarians are quite wild and uncontrolled. Your first task should be to subdue them or win their cooperation. To avoid antagonizing them any further, do not build anything on the land that they consider to be theirs. Use the risks overlay to see the area they claim as their own. Some governors report satisfactory results from building mission posts on the native's land. Missionaries can teach them some rudiments of civilized conduct. Eventually, they might even trade with you. Roman goods are a powerful lure for peaceful conduct. If you see carts moving between the native village and your city's warehouses, the natives have accepted your presence and you can safely build on their land. They will give you no further problems after they begin trading. And there we go, Carthago taming an old foe. And this, this intro is just dripping with sarcasm, isn't it? A series of endless raids, though it's just some. It's just some military, right? No, this, this military is, is crazy. Um, and also, apparently, don't build near the natives. Well, let's go ahead and go to the city. All right, here we go. So in case you're watching this on YouTube, you don't know, we just did a quick restart because the difficulty was not on very hard. Anyway, let's quickly go through what I did just now. 500 citizens, yep, let's slow things down. Let's get rid of all of these service buildings because these are all just in the way. We gotta subdue these natives. So I'm gonna do this, uh, what other, we don't need that, that, that. And also, uh, let's get the music going because, oh, there's the music. I'm just gonna go ahead and start, because we have a few exports here. 
Uh, we can export oil, wine, and olives, and we can export marble as well, and fish and fruits, which is not really worth it. Marble is the easiest, so let's go ahead and get that started. We're gonna do this. Get people moving in there. And now, let's subdue these natives. Uh, let's get rid of all of these farms. This starting... This starting area is just terrible. Ah, oh, the governor who built this. But, yeah. Everyone builds a map that looks like this, don't they? <laughs> let's clear all of this up. We don't need this road connection there. I'm gonna clear off this road connection here. We'll keep the prefectures and... Well, we'll put some prefectures and engineers posts down. Just to make sure things don't burn down. Because we need the, the starting population from here to keep us above 300 so we don't have to deal with the immigration glitch. So now we can clear off this road here. We don't need that. We don't need this road. And now we can put down a mission post right here. A mission post right here. And a mission post right here. And we're going to need one right here as well. Just to quickly subdue all of these guys. That guy's going to walk there. I don't know if... I don't know if this can reach there, but just to be safe, let me check the risks overlay. Natives, okay. So as the intro did say, don't build on the native risk. <laughs> Okay, so that prefecture will cover there. Things are collapsing, that is unfortunate. Let's start clearing up this area, and yes, I will be doing a sort of fishbone design for... Let's... no, 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 let's keep that house, get rid of the market, though. I will be doing a fishbone design on this map, because it's something new, something interesting, and let's get rid of that. Okay. We'll leave the aqueduct, because that's just sort of dealing with keeping the population going. Okay. So that should very quickly subdue all of these natives. You can see these guys are spawning I'm so now. Glad to be Roman. You should see what these barbarians get up to in their huts. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So all of this looks okay. Can I delete any more? No. People should, well, I think people are upset with me. Yeah, I'm just gonna raise our pay by 10 and drop taxes to zero. I think, yeah, there's not much we can do about the gods. We start with Neptune already upset, so we're gonna get a curse from that. Perhaps we could hold a festival to Mars? Yep, we'll hold a large festival while we have the chance, and I'm just gonna put down a small temple to Mars, because a Mars blessing is gonna be very useful on this map. And if I check risks here, natives, is it clearing up? It should be clearing up. Does this... There we go. All cleared up. And that should stop the natives from attacking me. There are some coming from this way, but because we don't have anything built down here, that should be fine. Okay. Looks good. So now we can focus on... getting things going. I'm gonna put a well there. Get rid of this fountain. Get rid of this reservoir. Did that collapse? Yeah, I think that collapsed. Let's clear up this road here. We don't need any of this. There's lots of flat coast here. But I'm gonna need the reservoir to be here. And I'm gonna have this come out like that. We're gonna break this road here. We're gonna make a little spot there. And we are going to have a road extend down this way. So what I mean by a fishbone design for a block is to just have this sort of main road coming down this way and have, let's see, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and have spokes coming out like this. So I'll have one, two, one, two, three, one, two. In case you're wondering what I'm counting, I'm counting uh, two houses, space for three, for a three by three statue, and then two houses. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. So this is gonna be our block design for this mission. You can see why I call it the fishbone design, right? Because it looks like a fishbone. <laughs> now, 
Uh, are they gonna stop attacking? I think they just stopped attacking us, so that's good. Now let's fix this road here. Uh, we'll shift this over just to keep that connected. That was destroyed there. So now that they've stopped attacking us, we can have a granary right here. We're gonna have a gatehouse right here. And we're gonna have gatehouses, keeping these areas separate. One, two, three, four. And have some houses here. Uh, one, two, three, four. And houses here. So this is the start of... And we're gonna have the prefecture there and there, and engineer's post here and here. To make sure it's the safest. Okay, that's the start of our housing area. Now we gotta wait for people to move in. And if I check risks, natives, it should be secure enough. Yeah, that's covering that, that's covering that, that's covering that, that's covering that, okay. And what I didn't know, actually, is that these things, you see under health and education, it's 80. These actually take 20 workers each. It doesn't say it takes 20 workers each, but uh, there we go. Anyway, we should be able to speed things up. I think they will not attack us. I hope they don't. Please don't attack my granary. Don't don't kill anything. Could you spare a little bread? I haven't eaten for so Could you spare a little bread? I haven't eaten no for beard. so long. No beard. Please, please go home. Uh, Dennis the Elder, please, please. Please be like Greybeard and Steve the Cap Steve the Capitulator. Look at that. Steve the Capitulator is a native on this map. Uh, I'm gonna extend this road a bit there. Okay. And we... Oh, these did actually move in. So let's go ahead and get some marble quarries going. One, two, three, four. And a warehouse right here, I think. Get out of the way, please. Warehouse right there, which is gonna be accepting just a marble. So we can get our first export going. Oh. Okay, okay. The... Where? This? That's burning down? Okay, that's fine. I could stop that from burning down by having the prefecture there. And not there. Right? We kind of just need more prefectures here. Everything burns down so quickly. Just stop, just stop burning down. Okay. I think to be safe we just need, like, to double up the prefectures. Oh, do granaries? No, granaries do, do burn down as well. If I just have a second prefecture there. Okay, there we go. People are starting to move in. We can have our reservoir down. Uh, we can place it... Where do I want it to be? I think I want it to be one, two, three, and a gap. So it can be like that. And have this aqueduct come through like that. And we're short one, one month's denarii here. Uh, we have... We can drop... People are moving in, we can drop wages again. And raise taxes before we forget. Uh, people are indifferent to you, okay, fantastic. Oh. Oh. Neptune is unhappy, and look at that. That sky looks really weird. Have you ever noticed that? That horizon, this isn't... Clouds don't come down into the horizon line. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it's an interesting month. Uh, is Neptune's Wrath a scripted event? It's not a scripted event, but you start with Neptune being really pissed off at you. So we get another 3,000 here. Okay, marble's gonna start coming in. Okay, uh, can I just stabilize the employment here? Couple statues.
if I get that house evolved, it actually does manage to keep employment a little bit more stable. There we go. So we've got four marble quarries going to export to here, which is just one shield. So four marble quarries should be able to keep that going. We'll open the trade route as soon as we can. Anything gonna burn down or anything? Ah, oh, desert maps. Fire is just... Oof. Uh, Mars is charmed, which is good. We're gonna have to get the, the rest of the temples down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put... Let's see. Ceres here. Neptune there. Uh, I guess... Mercury can go out here somewhere. And we have one for Mars. Okay. Uh, Venus is being wrathful. Let's make sure we prioritize uh, religion. But first, water services, prefectures, engineering, governance and religion to make sure all the temples are actually staffed. Otherwise, the gods still can be very unhappy. By the way, if you're on Twitch, use the Zack Gods emote to remind me if the gods are going to be unhappy. Zack Gods. I designed a, a little emote which looks like that right there. So you guys can remind me. There we go. Marble's starting to come in. Once we got a little stockpile, we'll, we'll open up the trade route. Okay, okay. Things are going decently. I want to demolish all of this if possible, but once we... I'm going to wait till we get our population up. Uh, fountains. We're going to need fountains. One, two, three, four. There. One, two, three, four. There. And we can start getting fountains on this side as well, actually. Let's clear off some of these trees. I don't think we're going to need these. Just delete it in a way that sort of looks nice. Uh, how much space did I give here? Three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can have like a reservoir like there. What was that message? Distant battle. Uh, how much time do we have for that? Do we... Can we... Raw materials? Uh, we, we can't even get iron on this map. Um, reservoir. Aqueduct. Fountain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We'll get those starting to evolve. Our population is 700, which is good. Let's just plaza up this a bit to get these houses... Evolved a little bit. Yeah, okay, there we go. Just just evolve up. Okay. Have the gods stopped complaining? Venus is... I don't have a temple to Venus? I thought I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, marble starting to come in. Uh, can I hold another festival for Mars? It's just 92, so... Mars is exalted. And just to boost that up, you know what? Let's let's get another temple to Mars. We don't have a shipyard. So we have some flat coast here. That's three. How can I get this? That's three there as well. I should have the shipyard furthest away. We could have a dock here, though. I don't think we need a dock there, though. You know, for now, I'm just going to put the shipyard here. Have this road do that. We're gonna need to shift the prefecture and engineer's post to that. We can clear that off and have this road extend to there. And also, just to make sure nothing does actually burn out, I'm gonna have a prefecture and engineer's post on this side as well, next to the granary. And we can get rid of that. So we got a shipyard down. So we can start getting wharfs down. To start getting food in. So we can feed people as soon as possible. Marble 
has started to come in. Is the next uh, shipment coming in soon? Okay, so we can now open this trade route. 600 to open a trade route. Yes, visit Visor. Export all the marble we can. Okay. What's our employment like? 28% unemployment. Okay. <laughs> we can start clearing off these houses, I think. And actually, we could start like a little oil industry. What can we sell? Oh, this is already an open trade route. 15 units of oil, 25 units of olives. Okay. Warehouse. Farms. Olives. be most efficient if I did this. If I clear off these trees here, clear off that there, get rid of some of these, we can drop our population a little bit. Farm olives. I'm gonna try keep this farmland efficient from the get-go because shifting everything around later will be a pain. We can have olives. Olives. We'll start with two. Break that. Do we need this road connected? We don't, actually. Because we don't need that prefecture either. So two olive farms there. Another prefecture there, just to make sure things are as safe as possible. The native Bluebeard is actually coming to buy the marble, which is going to be actually very handy. And what's the, the extent of farms going down this way? To there? So, one, two, three. We can actually have this road extend like that. Clear this off. Get rid of some of these houses. And we can have the oil production down this way. And we'll just mark it with that. And we can have oil workshops here. There we go, we're selling up the marble. So we have three of these. Uh, that was the extent of the farms coming down this way, right? There, okay. Workshop, oil. This is actually coming quite close to my residential area. This is actually not a good place to do this. But you know what? Should I, should I shift it? It should actually like come out this way or something. Or just not go that way. It should come down this way. What's our 22% unemployment? I think I can get rid of these houses here. We can shift the temple to Venus. To anywhere else, it doesn't matter. Just for now. So this actually I should... ...have the road come down slightly differently. Since we actually do have some money here, I'm gonna do it this way. So the road's gonna come down this way to there. there. And I'm gonna shift this mission post to this side. Get rid of that, get rid of that. If we do this correctly the first time round, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> okay, warehouse can go right. We'll put the workshops down. Workshop. Oil. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. 
perfect spacing because a farm can fit right there. And the warehouse can go right here. Accepting just oil. There we go. And it is a land trade route, right? Uh, yes, it is a land trade Okay, okay. I'm low on funds? Yeah, I know I'm low on funds. Ah. Oh. Okay. This is gonna look so much better than the last time I played this map. And everything's going very slowly now because I just want to make sure nothing burns down. Fishing's gonna... Come in soon, okay. Employment, 7%, okay. There's a house there, house there, house there. Housing or worker access should be stable. If I look at risks for the natives, we should be still covering it fine, yes. I could make this a little bit more efficient if I have this road come up like that into a loop and come down like that. Then I break this and this and this. And then I only need one of these. Okay. Correct? Correct. Okay. <laughs> That's actually more efficient. That's more efficient. Fire coverage for the oil workshop, it should be fine. We've got one prefecture there, one prefecture there. That's another festival for Mars. Okay. Do I have two temples to Mars? I do have two temples to Mars. Venus is angry again. Why is Venus so angry? Come on, Mars, give me a blessing. Just temporarily. No, it's... Yeah, we gotta keep Venus happy, otherwise immigrants will stop, which will be bad. Let's get a few more people moving in here, because I think we have actually used up most of our, our, our employees, okay? So, oil is now underway. Olives are being delivered, fantastic. We'll clear off some space there, make sure it's traversable. No beard, trying to buy some marble. How much marble did we actually sell? Eight units, okay. Okay, so now we just kind of have to wait for money to come in so that we can start getting a military. Where's the invasion? It said distant battle, it's coming from down there. So that probably means we have three years, right? A distant battle means we have three years? I think it's three years before they actually get to us. Ah, oh, Karthago. I, I find this map harder than the final missions in this game. Because it's so, it's so dangerous, it's so risky. Is anything burning down? Risks, native. Yes! A Mars blessing! Just what we needed. So, these walkers should cover the whole loop, right? I'm so scared. Oh, the gardens are messing up the path here. Okay. Gotta be careful with gardens. They just walk right through. Okay, these houses have evolved again. Water only reaches one, two, three. Is it three tiles? Yeah. Oh, these fountains are actually one off. I miscounted. Is this fountain? Oh, this fountain actually was... What was that? Oh, I forgot something here. Okay. Just in time? Just in time.
Let's send out engineers, please. Thank you. Okay. So, what was this? A temple to Mars? Actually, we didn't need it anymore. We already have one temple. And we got the Mars Blessing, so we should be relatively safe. Okay. We got the Mars Blessing while it was cheap, and it seems like I probably could support more marble because the natives are buying marble from me as well. Another one? How much is a marble quarry? 50? Okay. Two more marble quarries should get the natives buying more stuff and our exports going. It's the end of the year, so we've only sold nine units of marble because the natives bought it up. Okay. Expand our housing a little bit here as well. We'll try to keep out of debt, but we really can't do much about that. Fish is slowly coming in. Where's the fishing grounds? There? How much do we have here? 700 units? Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, that was close, right? Carsland, uh, Carsland net reminded me of engineer post. That's fine, that's fine. We're probably gonna be hearing that quite a bit. All right, native, buy some marble. There we go. So the traders actually come in. Oh, oil's coming. Wait, there's already export settings here. Um, we're not exporting wine, but we will export oil. I didn't realize there were export settings left over from the previous governor. So I want to start exporting that. It's so bad. Uh, let's drop our salary. Uh, we do not need this much of a salary. There's some money left over, but I try not to use the salary for anything. If anything, it's just to raise favor, but even then, most of the time, we don't need to give gifts to Caesar to raise favor. Okay, bringing in a few more people to move in here. Fountain, it's one, two, three. One, two, three. So another fountain would go there for perfect coverage. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's clear off those. So I'd probably have the the spoke go that far, right? Like, we don't need super long roads. That that seems like a good number of people. If we have like three or six, six of these, that should actually be lots of people. We need how many? 6,000? Okay, we'll see how many people can actually fit onto this. <laughs> a fountain. One, two, three. One, two, three. There. Three, one, two, three, there. And one, two, three. Looks like money's starting to come in a bit here. Okay, did we sell some oil? We, we're selling oil, would you look at that? Ah, how much oil can we sell a year? Is it uh, 15 units plus any surplus olives? So it's actually worth it if I put down an extra olives farm and an extra warehouse to store olives. Uh, there we go. And any surplus olives, we just sell. So having two extra olive farms is probably good, right? Yeah. So we're gonna boost up our olive production because we can sell that as well. Our first two spokes are sort of prepped here. I can put down a market, I guess, to get that going. Start feeding some of these houses, which will be good. Ah, and also you see with this design, I could have like a theater at the end of each road and just have one actor colony and I'll just send stuff out. Uh, Lala Kisa says, not against you, Gamerzak, but who in their right mind would move there yet? I would not live in this city. 
I would not live in this city myself, uh, but we assume that the citizens who are moving into Carthago at this moment, a city which is has been ruined by a previous governor, and just in general is uh, a complete mess and under threat of military domination by the Carthaginians. Uh, we assume the citizens moving in here are patriotic. <laughs> and they want to move here for the good of the Empire. That's a thousand people, which means we're gonna need uh, more temples soon. But there we go, we've got a thousand people. Uh, this is so much more organized than the last time. And by the way, this... Remember last time, if you watch my original playthrough, I built on top of this. We are not doing that again. Uh, we're gonna try to keep things a bit more centralized. We have food coming in just about. We've got some fish coming in here. We could go ahead and put down another wharf to just sort of push that along. I'd like to clean up some of these scattered houses. How is our employment? 4% unemployment. Let's clear off those scattered houses. Okay, okay. So these two roads are doing okay. Money's starting to come in. How do we get weapons on this map again? Water trade route for iron or weapons. Okay, so... Can I fit a dock? I can fit a dock right there. Okay. We can start this going, I think. So the road will go until there, actually. And we'll have the prefecture and engineer's post here. We'll shift it up a bit. So that we can have a warehouse right here. For iron. Just don't accept anything. How much is it to open this trade route? A thousand? I guess I should focus on getting some javelins first, right? Military can be set up along here, I think. Do we have any... We, do, we can't chop down trees, so we don't need these trees for anything. It's a little risky there. Should be okay. Barracks. We're gonna have a barracks right here. And we'll work our way to getting a military academy. These houses have evolved, fantastic. They need entertainment, so we can just go ahead and put a theater right at the end here. And we can have the actor colony. This road, one, two, three. I actually want to shift this road one over and clear off some of that. Actor colony. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so this actor colony will send an actor down that way to evolve these houses looking good plaza we probably should plaza up this whole thing because these houses are just not evolving there we go needs a bit more food 600 units enemies closing all right we gotta focus on military they're gonna be here in two years i think two years uh evil scientist 42 you gotta go <laughs> we'll see you I like the extra challenge. Uh, I, I try. <laughs> but I think this fishbone design is going to work out quite nicely. Uh, oil is coming in. I think we're slowly getting a surplus of, of olives as well. Are we actually selling any olives? We have not sold any olives. How about marble? We've sold one unit of marble. These native traders actually buy a ton of stuff. Can we get... Another marble quarry, just to keep things going as much as possible, I guess. <clears throat> okay, would you look at that? Basic educational facilities, which means a school. This should solve our population issue for now. I'm not sure if we can produce enough food to 
support this, um, we should be able to. Another wolf there, I guess. So we have 1,400. Military Academy is a thousand. So I'm just gonna... Drop that now. And we're gonna need a fort of javelins first. Now where should I put my military? At the end of the fishbone? End of the fishbone's probably the best spot because... We want it sort of centralized, right? Our military. And end of the fishbone, I don't really want markets going any further, so I think down here can be our military sort of stuff. Yeah. So our military can go right here. I think I'll clear off those trees. Oh, look at that. There's some birds flying here. These, these are actually the birds meant to be flying over the fish. I think that graphical glitch does sometimes happen. Uh, we just don't have enough desirability, I think. So we have 1,100 here. How's our unemployment of 2%? Okay, is the academy working? It is. Marble's coming in. Uh, what is our favor? 32? I think I can go ahead and put down a javelin fort now. We're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So like here. And I could make it look decent by following the road. Maybe here, yeah? Yeah, it's gonna go here. And we're actually not in debt. Damn it, I forgot! I forgot about that. We'll have that extend out there. Doctors. We need doctors. There we go. Uh, let's let's try get that going. Gods, gods, gods. Good call. Um, geez, uh, that's not good. I could sort of solve this problem by having this road do that, <laughs> so I can kind of touch that house there. Um, doctor. I guess we just have a doctor running around here, right? That should be able to touch that housing there for this burn down, that burn down as well. That sucks. Got a couple houses there. Jeez, so many people got sick. At least this area is okay. Okay, city needs more workers, 15 employees. We do have to deal with the god problem. Where do I put these? I kind of need this space here. I actually can start... It's a thousand to open the trade route, right? Yeah. Let me clear this off. Well, I'll just keep an eye on the gods. I'll keep an eye on them. We have two temples to Venus, so that's okay. I guess we can just go ahead and put them down. Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. Okay. Keep the gods happy. We're starting to get javelins in, and they are academy trained. Fantastic. Where? Why? Come on! Have some houses there, I guess. Uh, 
all that burned down. Okay. Well, we don't need those houses. Looks like they're clearing themselves off. <laughs> um, solves its own problems, yeah? I'm gonna clear off these trees here because we will need room for importing iron. Is food... How is food doing? Food is struggling a little bit. Uh, well, struggling quite a lot, actually. I'll just clear off all of those trees to keep things organized. Please move back in there to stabilize the employment. Thank you very much. We can clear off these there. We can clear that off there. Clear that off there. So this road being like that should actually be okay. Yeah. Look at that. They just they just clear it off. They they clear off by themselves. We don't even have to to tell them to leave. <laughs> so we got some houses there. We've got some houses there. Okay. That should keep employment stable. Oh, where did all that money come from? Jeez, let's open up this trade route. Yes, and let's just do a quick import of weapons and iron. Yeah, how's our employment? We're gonna need... Uh, workshop. Weapons. I'll put down one weapons workshop, I think. And this is accepting iron and weapons. Okay, very good. Let me just make sure I clear these off as well. Not accepting iron weapons. This one is not accepting iron or weapons. And this one is not accepting uh, iron. Why is... Oh, wheat as well. I didn't realize wheat was a thing. Okay. Let's move these houses back there. We're gonna need some houses moved back there. Okay. So javelins are coming in, and we do have a blessing from Mars as well, which is good. We're gonna get some iron and weapons in, so that we can start getting some actual legionnaires in. Um, they're still two steps away from invading our city. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's gonna be expensive importing both? Yeah. It will probably mess with our money. Do I want to actually import weapons? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Do I want this road to become a loop like this? That's probably fine, right? Just double up on the prefectures there. That, that sort of makes things a bit easier to control, I think. Employees needed, okay. How many? One, okay. These houses here have evolved, okay. Desirability is an issue. How much is a large statue? 150? Oh, we're just importing the iron now. We need to sell something. Are you going to... Yes, okay. We're gonna sell some oil. We're gonna sell some oil. And then we should be good to go. Military's coming on in, looking good. We'll keep a... We probably want to focus on legionnaires, but I do want a few javelins so we can kite things. Now, let's fix our population issue by doing that. There we go. That should solve... There we go. Right? We can... Clear off those trees there. Ah. Money is no issue now. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so we will have these things sort of going like that. We need to increase our food production. So we kind of need this road to do this instead. Uh, if I 
I... I could make this a shortcut if I use gatehouses here. that off there. This should work, I think. Right? It's a shortcut for things, and then we could put another couple of wharves right there. Boost our food production a little bit so we can see how many rows we can actually fill. Feed? I don't think we can actually get enough fish to feed all of these areas. Uh, we might have to... If we're lucky, we might be able to feed these two rows with just fish. Uh, but I don't know if we can get... Can we get more fish? I mean... Is there a way to cross over? Uh, like we cross there, to there... To there? We can get to the islands. Oh, we can cross... Oh no, we, that doesn't cross to anything. There's more flat coast here. And some flat coast over here. Ah, oh, jeez. Are we producing weapons? We are producing weapons, so let's get a uh, legionnaire fort down. And you know what? Let's just import some weapons. Uh, workshop weapons. So we're now delivering some weapons to the barracks. Okay, this shortcut is helping out. Ah. Oh. Once I see this area stabilized with food, I will be able to judge how many wolves we need per... Uh, per area. Okay, the, the traders are coming from down here. Would you look at that? Traders are coming from down here to buy stuff from up here, which is very good. You are... Oil? 10, 6, 5. Okay, the natives are really shopping here. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> Caesarea. No, not Caesarea. Carthago. Carthago. This is... Oh, this map. You know, I wanted to have like a fishbone design to go with the fishing, but... I don't think we can get enough fish in here. Or maybe it's just the first feeding that's being difficult, right? Two hundred units of fish. Yeah, I mean it's just we need to get some proper stockpile of fish in first. You just dumped all your fish into these houses. Each house takes like five hundred units. Look at that. It's crazy. Okay, we've imported some weapons. That should kickstart our military. We're in a bit of debt. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, we'll make the money back. But we, what's important is we're getting some legions in. Which we are going to need. I'll clear this off a bit. Okay. Our first legionary. First legionary. Ah. Are they just not... Like, we've added more fishing wolves, but it seems like... Food is just sort of not coming in. Like, are we getting... There's 400 units there. We're sort of distributing. I, I want to just see if we can actually feed one, one row of houses. Ten oil? Ten oil. We are producing oil. But we kind of want to sell the oil. <laughs> um... We're producing some surplus olives as well, so some soldiers are coming in here. Just sort of struggling. I, I do need another warehouse down here, accepting weapons. So the weapons are a bit closer to the... Uh... It probably should be like there, right? <laughs> 
Oh, with this being like that, I kind of need the houses. Some extra houses there. So I'm gonna put a warehouse here. So the weapons are stored closer to the barracks. That will speed things up significantly. Go get some weapons. And this is gonna be not accepting. Just importing iron. Okay. Have we imported the max amount of iron? No, we can import 25 a year. Okay, that's quite a lot. Also, delivering the weapons from that warehouse to this warehouse, it's actually meaning iron is not being delivered to the weaponsmiths, which is not good. Okay, we are, we are actually managing to feed these, these houses at the end. That one's going to devolve soon, but... <laughs> uh. Okay, some money is coming in. What's our employment like? Unemployment of 3%, which means I can just, for the sake of it, have the theaters going on both sides there. So food is slowly starting to come in. If I get, like, extra... You know, I should use the, the getting food technique with the warehouses so I can have like a, more fishing areas over on these islands stockpiling into a warehouse which we can then bring the fish over to this side. That would actually probably be much, much better, yeah? That would make a lot more sense. There we go. Weapons have been gotten. We can now just set this to accepting. So the barracks now has lots of weapons in it. Legionnaires will come through. Okay. Money has stabilized. I'd like to just plaza that up while we have the chance. So we're starting to feed this. Marble is stockpiling, which is good, which means we can actually just start putting down oracles, right? Wherever we want oracles. Uh, all right, behind here. I could have an oracle there. This will keep the gods happy and an oracle here. And they can be protected and I can have an extra set of oracle there. Since we have so much... Oh, we just sold all the marble. <laughs> okay. There, four oracles. That will keep the gods happy, I think. Very good. And that looks good, right? That looks good. And the market actually evolved. So... Fish is coming in. Come on, I just want to feed le like the end of this one row. The first feeding of this is really a pain. Okay, how's our legionnaires coming? Okay, do we have three units of weapons stocked up there? We can probably increase our weapon workshop count by two. Workshop weapons. There, okay. Anything going to burn down or fall apart? Nope. It gets a little close here, but... These houses on the back are just... kind of don't want those houses there. Okay. Ah, oh, I think we, we've established a city that makes sense, that looks good, and we're actually gonna be okay on this mission. But we're kind of waiting for that first invasion. We do have a blessing from Mars, which is going to help a lot, I'm thinking. Uh, two units of weapons. How many are in here? Nine? Okay. We are going to be invaded. They've only got one more step. So next year, they w well, within a few months, I think, they're going to come and invade us. But I think we'll be okay. We should be okay. I hope we'll be okay. <laughs> I hope we will be okay. Meanwhile... Let's set up a bit more of a fishing area here. Um, that island there is sort of the best for fishes, right? There's a lot of flat coast. And we've got some over here as well. Right, so if I just uh, have a road do this. Right, I could do that. Have some houses right in the middle. 
Prefecture, Engineer's Post, uh, Wharf. Oh, we need the road to do that, okay. Where does the ship bridge go? It has to be in the middle? Oh, that sucks. Well, we'll replace it later. So that's an extra four wharves, which we can just fix by doing that. We'll make the road look a bit nicer there. We can have a warehouse right here. Do I want it here? Yeah, I want it there. And this warehouse is going to be set to accepting uh, meat, which would be fish. Right? And then we can have a warehouse over on this side. How do I want to do this? Move this temple to Mars. And I can actually take a temple off from everyone. Mars, Venus, Ceres, Mercury, Neptune. So it's one to each and the rest can be oracles, okay. Uh, and I'll have a warehouse here set to getting fish. There we go. This is a technique I never knew about in the past and this is actually gonna be fantastic. And this granary is gonna be set to getting meat. Okay, there we go. So this warehouse will get the meat from this side Oh, meat's already coming in, would you look at that? So meat will stockpile here, this warehouse will go get the meat, and then it'll put into this granary. So we can essentially have four extra wharves here without anything being messed up. We can always shift uh, and build more warehouses here. And look at that, we did actually feed this whole row. Yes! We can actually do it. How's our employment? Unemployment of 2%, okay. So we will have, like, baths there. Yeah, we'll need baths there eventually. I'm just gonna give them baths. Because that's the area that, that we kind of developed. And look at that, we've almost got a full legion. Ah, yes, yes, things are coming together. Clear off some of these trees here. So we can actually have more weapons workshops, I think. Two more. Total of six weapons workshops. Money's streaming in. Would you look at that? Fish is nicely stockpiling there. We'll see if one warehouse is enough for now. We could always shift it up to more later on. We have 14. Two more legionnaires needed for that. Employees needed. Okay. Ah, it's great. It's great. I love how it looks. I love how it's all coming together. It really does look nice. Looks good. <laughs> this is working better than I expected. It's actually better than I expected. There we go. This guy's now gonna grab, how much? I think they can get, grab 800 units, is it? Here we go, first invasion. First invasion, let's go. Ah, the Carthaginians. From this side? Okay. 16. Okay. Jeez, the first invasion already has a decent number. They're gonna start killing zebras too. We do have a blessing from Mars, which will help. Ah, uh, poor, poor zebras. Poor zebras. 400 units for a warehouse transport. They have elephants as well? Jeez. Uh, on the back of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and get like another legion fort to get that going. Please, Mars, just just kill half of them and I think we'll be okay. I might have to do some kiting as well. All right, Mars. Took out one legion there, okay. All right, 
We're gonna try kite with javelins to try and kill as many people as possible. So this is a technique I didn't really use last time. But if we kite with this, we can actually kill off some people and at least shoot. Come on, shoot a bit faster than that, thank you. Don't shoot the zebras, they're not important. Oh, I hate how they shoot so slowly. If I could just kill a couple of them. We gotta set that to export over 10, I think. Okay, we killed a couple of them there. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. No, no, back out. Don't run. Damn it! Okay, we gotta move these guys in. Jeez, I think I messed up a little bit there, but I did manage to kill a good number of them. Or at least a handful of them. Come on, shoot, javelins. Okay. Did we lose anyone? We lost three legions there. Okay, here come the rest. Can we lure someone in? Distant battle. Oh. Come on. And also, while we're at it... Uh, hold a festival for Mars. Imagine if we didn't have the blessing. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna have to take this head on now, I think. Four guys, three elephants. I think we can do it. Come on. Kill those elephants. Kill the elephants. Okay, one's dead. Two's dead. Yes. Return to fort. I'm gonna, like, need another javelin, I think, so we could do some proper kiting. And then the rest can be legions. Okay. Then we can get some more troops coming as fast as possible. Another distant battle. Ah, oh, we did it. Uh, and we just kind of have to keep Mars super happy. So I think, um, you know what? Let's just keep Mars super happy. <laughs> the first invasion, you can tell. It's not it's not a good one. We have enough oil to send off to Caesar, though. Let's dispatch that. We can now set this back to exporting everything. Okay. Look at that. All that fish has been sort of stockpiled up. We can probably shift the weapons warehouse to here. I'll set this to not accepting, set this to getting meat, I think. Set this to just accepting weapons. There we go. We're gonna keep importing iron as well to keep the weapon supply coming. Okay. A bit of debt, don't worry. How is our favor? 38, 30 needed, okay. So we should be fine on favor as long as we don't piss off Caesar too much. <laughs> And look at that, food has actually started coming in properly. This is actually solving the problem. We need to shift more uh, meat over to this side. Did the market just take a whole bunch of meat? Okay. Okay! I think that is a good start. The first invasion is over, our city is starting to be established, we're feeding our people, oil's going out, olives going out, marble's going out, lots of marble, gods are happy. We're gonna try get another blessing from Mars, he's delighted right now, wait till that festival comes in. And I think we are good to go for, for the start of this mission, would you look at that? 
All right, so that was phase one of Carthago in Caesar 3. If you'd like to move on to phase two, where we're going to be feeding people, building a military fort and fighting off constant invasions, just click the button on the screen right now. I'll take you to phase two. And don't forget to continue on to phase three, where we're going up to luxury palaces. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.